today I'm going to be doing a review on the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I haven't done a review video on this channel at all. Maybe I did like one review video, but I deleted it I think because it turned out really bad. But yeah, so first I'm going to talk to you about my skin type and yeah. So I have oily skin and I break out pretty easily, not that easily, but I do get the occasional breakouts. Um, but my shade in this foundation is 120. I believe it's classic ivory and this is what the packaging looks like. It's very sleek and I just I really like the packaging. Um, just not the actual foundation, but for how not how much it is at Ulta, it's 7.99. So it's from 7 to $8 and at Target and like Walmart and all that, I think it's like 6.99. I personally got mine at Target, so it was only like a dollar um, less than at Ulta. So that's pretty much the prices. For a pro, my first pro, which is a very good like thing to have in a foundation line, is it has a very nice wide range of colors for any skin tone. Skin tone, it has a very nice um, selection for lighter skin tones, and it also has a pretty nice variety for the oh, it's dark very skin. inexpensive like I already said instead of spending like $14 on a foundation you can get it for like seven when you first apply it it looks very flawless and very dewy um, yeah that's pretty much all my pros I don't have that many so my first con is it has no pump so it's just one of those poor foundations which I'm not a fan of so that's my first con it's very messy the next thing is the actual foundation ex itself, when you pour it on your hand, it's very watery. It's very watered down, um, which I think it just runs all over the place and it's not, that's why I think it's messy having no pump. Even if it did have a pump, I think it'd still be very messy. Um, it wouldn't change my opinion of the foundation at all because for my skin, this foundation does not work at all. Um, after a while, my skin tends to look very greasy and just heavy, like I can actually feel the foundation on my face. Um, when I first apply it in like the morning time and like halfway through the afternoon, it starts be to become more greasy like every hours, like every two hours. Um, but in the beginning, it is not at all. It's very light. I can't even feel it on my face. Throughout the day, at the end of the day, when I'm going to take it off, it's very heavy and I can actually like feel the makeup like on my face, which I don't like having that feeling at all. Um, when I apply my setting powder, it kind of like eats it up in a way. I don't know really how to say it, um, but it kind of just eats up the powder and this is a very dewy, like a dewy finish. Like it's very glossy, not like glossy, but like very like creamy like looking. Dewy, you know, dewy, you get what I'm saying? Um, but this foundation is has that finish. If you have dark skin, I think this would work well for you. Um, for me personally, it does not stay on that very well. So that's one. Another con about this bad boy. Um, for, it doesn't have enough coverage for what I'm liking, for my liking. It has very light to medium. Not really medium, it has very light coverage. Um, not like super duper light, but in between light and medium, I would say. So I don't like that. I like to have at least medium coverage. Um, so yeah, and if you accidentally touch it or just like run your finger along your face on accident for some weird reason, um, it smudges very easily and it smears so you can actually see like your foundation like come off your face, which I personally don't like at all, which no one should really like that. But I don't like the way it looks after that so my rating for this foundation would be two out of five or 2.5 out of five stars it's honestly not my favorite I definitely would not repurchase this I'm probably not even going to use this anymore um, I might give it to my mom to have her try it out and see her opinion on it um, for I think the best uses though if you want light coverage if you have dry skin or normal skin and also if you have sensitive skin I think this would be a very nice foundation for you um, at first it's a good foundation but later throughout the day it becomes very greasy and yucky feeling I just don't like the way it but um, 
it looks like at the end of the day which I think is really important for a foundation that you like it how it looks like all day and it lasts all day so this is a hit or not a hit this is a miss for me I will never buy this again I don't recommend it for oily skin but like I said normal and dry skin people this might be a very good foundation for you especially if you like the dewy finishes so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you later bye guys